And now, your KLBK forecast first. Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Rachel Briers. Well, today it was hot out there. Temperatures rose all the way up into the 90s, and we saw a lot of sunshine. It actually felt more like summer today. So we're looking at a severe thunderstorm warning for Briscoe, Floyd, Hale, and Swisher counties, and this will last until 8.45 p.m. It's just now moving into Plainview and about to make its way into Floyd data. And up here towards the north, we're looking at it pushing into Turkey in the next few minutes. It was such a windy day here in the South Plains. Winds were blowing anywhere between 20 to 30 miles per hour, but that was about as severe as our weather got today. But that is a whole different story for Oklahoma. They actually had a lot of tornadic activity going on. Now we do have some video from Sulphur as well as Mill Creek. Those are both in southern Oklahoma. You can just see the power of this tornado and then check out this damage as well. Leveling houses now from this damage, just looking at it and looking at the scale, I would say this could be around an EF4 tornado. We do also have a little bit of freezing fog across the South Plains on the Cap Rock. Now that could create another layer of ice as we head into tonight and into tomorrow. So it's not looking too good in terms of the conditions out here. Just again, be safe and always stay up to date with us at KLBK. This area of green that's drifting out towards the southeast, that is actually smoke from a fire right there just near Cochrane County. And as of 9 p.m. tonight, they're still trying to put that out. So it's very easy for these fires to catch, especially in these breezy conditions. Here's a look at your golf forecast for a Saturday. If you're heading out early on that day, 55 degrees by the afternoon, we're going to be up into the 80s. Might be a little bit breezy, though, so start thinking about that. Now you might need to switch up your golf swing just a little bit. But we'll continue to move on closer to the area heading into Wednesday, and that's when things are expected to get even more widespread. And then it will slowly continue to push off towards the east. Now, meteorologist Rachel Bryant with KLBK's first morning weather. It was hot outside today, and yes, I haven't used hot quite yet this year. It rose up all the way into the 90s today across the South Plains. Now, we did not hit the record temperature. That was set back in 2000 at a high of 99 degrees, so at least we're not that hot quite yet. But a great day to really get out and spend some time outside, even head off to the pool. But let's take a look outside. Here's what's been going on all day today in Lubbock. Beautiful blue clear skies. Again, it's a great day to get outside and really soak up all of that sunshine. Right now we're looking at a temperature of 91 degrees here in Lubbock. That humidity though down at 10% very dry across the area, which is putting us under an elevated fire risk. And those winds are blowing in from the southwest at 16 miles per hour. Take a look at these temperatures. 80s as we head off towards the west, pushing off into the rolling plains. We're looking at the mid 90s, 96 degrees right now in Jayton. And we're looking at 89 degrees over in Leveland. And we have been seeing clear skies all day. And those clear skies are expected to continue in the overnight hours and will also last throughout the day tomorrow, expecting a lot of sun sunshine, but things will start to change heading into Wednesday night and Thursday morning. We're actually expecting a small chance for rain, about a 10% chance. Now this model not picking up on all of that moisture we are expecting, but with that being said, it's a 10% chance. So what we are expecting will be isolated and then that'll move out as we head into Thursday afternoon evening, allowing to see the sunshine, I would say by the late afternoon hours. But here's why we have that rain chance in place. Here's what's going to happen with our weather pattern tomorrow. A cold front will be pushing on in early in the morning, but it's going to stall right there really in the south and rolling plains. I think it'll make it down in our southern counties. So that's going to create quite a temperature difference across the viewing area up to the north. We're expecting to be up into the 80s. I would say into the southern regions of the south and rolling plains. Probably like what we saw today, mid 90s, and then that will stall right there, giving us a chance for rain as well. That'll give us the lift we need to see a 10% chance for rain. And then in the upper atmosphere, we're actually going to have an upper level trough push in, which will push out that cold front, but that will also give us a chance for some rain. So a 10% chance for rain Wednesday night going into Thursday morning, but that will all push off as we head into Thursday afternoon allowing for that sunshine to return tonight. Clear skies, a low temperature of 59 degrees and that wind will be breezy coming in between 10 to 15 miles per hour. We're back up near 90 degrees tomorrow. Sunny there and then there's your rain chance heading into the overnight hours. Here's a look at your next seven days. Thursday, partly sunny skies, windy conditions. 
ch rain chance in the morning. Friday, lots of sunshine there. And then this weekend, we also need to talk about more rain chances. 10% chance for rain Saturday, also on Sunday and on those days. We could also be talking some severe weather, so we will continue to update you on that chance as we head into the next few days. But it is hot out there. It's very imperative this time of year to start sending your kids with sunscreen to school, especially right. if they have activities after school, if they have any games going on or any practices. And also drink a lot of water a if you lot. are out there because yes. it's it's the I mean the middle of May. It's not even to the hottest of what it's mm -hmm. going to get this year, but it was 92 degrees. It's hot. Yeah. It's going to be a warm summer, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. Appreciate it, Rachel. Tomorrow is Super Tuesday, so there's really nothing stopping you weather-wise to get out and vote. Check it out. If you want to get there early, 7 a.m., take a jacket. We're talking a temperature of around 39 degrees. Windy, though, throughout the day. You can see, though, 58 degrees at noon will actually rise up into the 60s and then back down into the 50s heading into the rest of the day tomorrow. So here's what's going to happen. Here's why we have that rain chance. Now, here's a look at our dry line. Everything on this side, looking at a lot of moisture on the back side dry activity. So we do have a chance for some showers and thunderstorms, mainly in, I would say, in the eastern portions of our viewing area. Good afternoon and thanks so much for joining us here on Trends and Friends. I'm Terry Berman. And I'm Rachel Breyer. As well, coming up today on the show, we are talking with Visit Lubbock about National Tourism Week. Plus, we get a tour of Casa Mexicana with Christy Martinez Garcia. And we also visit with Christy about the upcoming events that Los Hermanos Familia has. Yeah, a lot of great, mm -hmm. exciting things going on this weekend. You don't wind blowing in from the southwest. It's going to heat us up here in the South Plains. Tomorrow, we're looking at forecasted high temperatures in the 90s. Yes, the 90s, where it already feels like summer. 93 forecasted here in Lubbock. Same things in, thing in Rawls. Heading off into the rolling plains, we could even jump up into the mid-90s. And it's only the beginning of May, so we're just going to continue to go up from here. So it's a good time to review your heat safety tips. Always remember to wear loose and light-colored clothing. Drink water. I think that's the most important thing all day, especially if you're going to be outside for an extended period of time. Also, that sunscreen is important and always make sure to bring your kids as well as your pets indoors. It's going to be a very rainy day, so grab those umbrellas. You might not need them tomorrow, but check it out. Friday, there's your rain chance, 50%. Possibly could be dealing with some severe weather on Friday. That looks like our strongest day of the week. They're blowing in now from the southeast, anywhere between 20 up to around 30 miles per hour. In Clovis, we have 32 miles per hour. And what these winds are going to do, one, they're going to make things a little unbearable outside, but two, since since they're blowing in from the southeast, they're actually going to help pump in a lot of moisture to the south and rolling plains. And that's why there is a winter weather advisory for everywhere in purple, and that's going to last until tonight at midnight. Again, half an inch to an inch of snow is possible. And something else about tonight, it's going to be cold. 19 degrees is our low temperature, which means things are just going to continue to refreeze. So in addition to the snowfall we are expecting, I mean, the road's going to be very bad as we head into tomorrow.